Well, today on Camp Geeks, we're going to be adding some modifications to this guy. This is a 2020 Toyota Sienna. We're going to put a trailer hitch on the back, followed by that, a wiring harness for it. So, let's get into it. So welcome back to Geek Smart. So today we are going to be doing the uh, trailer hitch itself on my 2020 Toyota Sienna, which is technically part one, right? I am actually shooting this at the same time I'm doing part two video, which is gonna be the wiring harness. So if you wanna see the wiring harness one, I'm gonna put all that stuff in a separate video. I'm all doing it at the same time. So you may see wires and stuff during this video. And uh, just so you know, but this is mainly gonna be on the hitch install, which more than anything is just going to be able to get into the bottom to add the hitch it doesn't look like it's going to be that too hard of a job but you never know so we're going to get started with that um, and like i said i'm going to be shooting the wiring harness at the same time so you may see wires so that said let's get into this so to start with the hitch i have raised the van up um so there's a basically because everything's in the back i backed it up on these blocks that i have or little ramps i guess so i'm getting ready to Start with the hitch. So under the van, so here's the rear bumper up here, we have to remove this plastic cover which encompasses the whole back side of the van. And you're gonna find several things. First, there are some nine millimeter, well I can do it, there we go, nine millimeter screws. So I'll just take the, uh, you can take a socket or a wrench or, you know, I have it on my drill. Take all those out first. Then there are gonna be these white plastic, here we go, I'll do this one these white plastic clips, which should be the old manual fastener. So you just kind of pop them out and they're a two piece clip. So the first piece, which is here, you pop that out and then the black piece comes out with it. So it's just a quick and easy. Uh, so they're really easy to take out. I just did it with one hand with one hand on the camera. So, uh, and then uh, either just put them in the bin um, because they're gonna be two piece that they go back together. Um, so I'm gonna put a, grab a bucket or so they put all that stuff in. Once you get all those out, and there's a bunch of them, your last step is gonna be these screw things here, um, which again, you just take a flathead screwdriver or a large Phillips, I guess, and just turn it out. And I think there's only, I think there's four of them. One here, one here, one there, and I think get one back there. So I think there's four of those total. That'll be the last item. Then once that's out, should pop out, and I think there's a couple Phillips screws, yep, right back here for the mud flaps. Uh, one on each side there. I believe that's it. Um, rather than trying to get this on camera, there's a lot of videos out there that show it, um, that don't show all, everything up in, close and personal. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop all this stuff out, and then this should come down. I figured if nothing else, I'll have a time lapse of me crawling under a van. So yeah, we'll just do it like this. I'll take my time to get all these pieces out. This will be sped up. That was relatively easy. Um, on those last four, that the the four big things that you just don't screw, putting a little bit of downward pressure definitely helps. So that would be the one thing that I would say. Uh, I don't want to scrape this across the ground, so I'm gonna get this up real quick. I'll be back. Now that we've got that down, there is a rubber grommet here that actually uh, is basically the absorbing item for the muffler, um, our exhaust. So we want to. I'm gonna spray that with some silicone spray. I can do that right more on camera here. Hopefully I get it right. Uh, that way it comes off easier. And uh, probably can do the other side too. But we're gonna wanna pull that off. And I don't know if I can do that on camera with one hand. But yeah, I have to work it off. Uh, essentially we're gonna, wanna, we're gonna pull that off. And it'll just kinda hang, give us a little more room to work with. Cause we gotta get up into these holes here. You can see that, that, and then up there. The three that have stickers on it. So I think it's this one and these two. 
Uh, I'm going to double check that, but we're going to have to remove those stickers because that's where the, the actual item mounts, the actual hitch mounts to. Uh, but either way, i got to get this loosened up and off, which basically is just get some silicone in there because this is this little mushroom tip right here is the item that's going to hold it on a little bit. But, you know, you get it lubed up a little bit, should come off. So that's what it looks like afterwards. And all I did was I took both hands and I pushed... I grabbed it with my fingers and pushed on this with my thumb, so it basically just brought that guy toward me after I put a little more silicone. I just did it on this side though, and once I got it to move, it just came right off. It slid right off. So, but now we have more movement in the muffler and the exhaust here um, because now we're working on items way back there. So a little more room to maneuver this guy around because uh, we're going to have to fight to kind of get it up in there and get uh, everything attached up into there. So next step, I guess. Let me introduce you to the hitch that we're doing here. Now this is the Kurt, uh, I think the actual number is up on the side here. Uh, Kurt, the 13343, C13343. And this is what she looks like. So we have three bolt holes on each side and the bolts actually did come taped to the have. center section. And have all that, the instructions that go with it as well. So we can kind of go come through this deep. We have detailed instructions with some pictures. Kind of hard to follow, to be honest, in my opinion, but it does work. So that's what we have to do with. Um, in here, this is one thing, I just kind of thumbed through it a little bit, um, but they did say to take, um, let's see if I can find it real quick. There was something about, there about the plugs that we just I just showed you, there we go. So it says remove one plug and two pieces of tape covering the existing nuts, which is interesting. And maybe they changed how the plugs and tape are done. Um, but mine are all tape because even the one plug, you can actually tape uh, measure these from this hole to this hole six and a quarter, and from this hole to this hole seven three quarter. So you can go up there. The one that I have a plug actually sits right about in here. So I'm not going to be unplugging that one. I just have the tape ones. So obviously make sure you. I always like to double check measurements anyway before you start removing things. Before I take the tape off, of the course, I've measured. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those pieces of tape off real quick, which is just removing tape. Uh, you can just stick a hole, basically take a knife, put it, put the whole center hole in it because it's gonna be hard to grab from the edge, loosen it up, and then just rip it off. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let me let me take a peek at that. All right, hopefully this isn't too blurry because of the, the exhaust here. But uh, I've I've done this one. I poked the hole in it. And then that one was a pain in the butt. This one I kept uh, I took off of one piece, and I found the easiest way to do it actually is just kind of work one side up with a screwdriver like that, and then you can peel it off pretty fast and easy. Um, that was the easiest way to do it. So I got those three holes ready. I'm gonna do the other side real quick. Now in the bag they give you the six bolts, right? Six bolts and six washers, and this is only half of them. But you'll notice on the washers there are teeth. On one side and the other side is smooth so the bolt goes through with the teeth facing our vehicle side I guess is maybe the best way to put it so just make sure that you put those teeth vehicle side because they're gonna grab on and make sure that things don't spin on you uh, afterward kind of help lock it into place so I got all three of these I'm gonna put them on each side of the vehicle so that they're ready to go uh, so they're all set mm -hmm. all right so we're gonna start putting the hitch up and the thing about the putting the hitch up is first grab a partner so I got my daughter but second uh, we're going to do this without removing the bumper. Um, some remove, require removing the bumper, but if we actually take these two tabs, these metal guys that actually, what they do is those, remember those plastic pieces we unscrewed? That's two of those points. The other two are back here. We're going to take these and bend them down. Um, we're not going to want to bend them too much, so we're just going to bend them once, and then when we're done, we bend them back up. We don't want to keep bending them. We don't want to bend them too many times, so just bend them down. Uh, and I would, let's, I've never done it, so let's give it a try. It's just, they're really easy to bend. So yeah, they're just metal on there, all right. Now these are for holding that plastic up. So it's not like it's a, oh my gosh, kind of piece. Um, they are welded and kind of taped in place, it feels like. Or like a thing but yeah well that's about as far as I'm gonna be able to go um, so we're gonna give it a try putting this up here slowly kind of feeding it up in here but these are now at least a little bit more out of our way otherwise it wouldn't have been 
been able to be possible. So let's get the camera set up and then we'll give it a try. All right, it's time to speed this process up, but we're gonna slowly kind of just work our way across and bending these tabs out as we go. Uh, yeah, just slowly work away. And of course, I'm gonna start on the muffler side because that's the side that kind of has to get up there first anyway, so. All right, you ready? Yes. Tell you what, you wanna grab that plastic bin and put it underneath here? It ain't going anywhere. Did you get all of them in? So now that they're all in place, uh, all six bolts are loosely put in place. I'm going to take my driver here and tighten them all up in there. So, you know, if you need to adjust it, what I will say is don't tighten any one up and make sure you get all six in place before you do any kind of tightening. And that's just for, if nothing else, so you can get them to line up because you will have to shift it a little bit to make sure that all six bolts line up. So another fast forward section. Okay, now I'm gonna have to get my torque wrench. Uh, just so you know, these were 19 millimeter for these six bolts. So that's what this is, a 19 millimeter circle. So I gotta get my torque wrench to get those torqued properly before we can kind of do anything else. Well, I must not hit record just a second ago, but I just finished up. Um, got my torque wrench, set it to 86 pound, uh, foot pounds, and went around. Now, again, 19 millimeter socket. Uh, get at least uh, a de this extension is about as small as I would go. I would get a longer one if nothing else might make it a little easier. But go around all six bolts and tighten them up to 86. Now, what I did was I tightened the back and the front, and then used my impactor to drive the second one in a little more. Because what happens is those those washers are kind of conical or concave, and so it kind of squishes it. So you gain quite a bit as it goes up. Um, so that that third bolt is quite loose in there again. And so I just tighten those up just to save myself a little time. You don't need to do that. But yeah, just make sure you set the 86 foot pounds and go nuts with it. I did that already. I apologize. I thought I was filming, but I guess I wasn't. So that is finished. Um, so now we are completely set in stone. The, the hitch is good to go. I'm going to go ahead and bend these clips back up real quick while I'm thinking of it. So since I was the only time I'm going to do that, and then I did have a couple of these these white clips here that from the bumper section that got popped out. Uh, not a big deal. They are still kind of feel like they're going to be popped out pretty easily. But that's for that guard that's going to go back up. But I'm not going to do the guard until after I finish my wiring. So uh, that's a, like I said, that's going to be on a second video. But when we come back, when we go, we go to the next part, we're probably gonna have some of that wiring in place. We do have to cut the plastic shield now for to accept this receiver. So it is like a seven inch back cut. There is slight information in the booklet, a little kind of a template that you can put on there, draw on there, put tape on there. Um, but yeah, so yeah, next. It is at this time that we are going to take a pause and close out this video, the remaining part of the video, which is gonna be that plastic shield that we have to do the cutout, that we're actually gonna do as part of the wiring harness install. So part two, which is gonna be dropped at the same time this is. Um, so go down below to the description if you wanna hit the link to part two if it doesn't automatically go. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah, if you head over to GeekSmart, you'll find it there too. But yeah, this will be a two-part video, wire harness a second, and at the end of that video, we will do the cutout, not only of the hitch, but we'll also cut out for the wire harness parts to, uh, as well. So, yay, part two.